Welcome back to the channel. We are here June 5th, and this is going to be the breakdown for the NBA playoff showdown Eastern Conference semifinals um, between the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. We have the Nets as the home team. Before we get into that, I want to appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, bringing me up to 354 and subscribers. Let's continue with the consistency of uh, views, uh, which has been very, very good. Uh, with the subscribers, let's keep pushing closer to 400. We're moving at a faster pace now. We're gonna keep growing because the the idea is we want to we get a hit and running right now with bait um with basketball. Probably get to a little bit of baseball, and then I want to have everything rolling for football. Football is gonna be the main key idea. That's gonna be the big season for the whole year, and that's gonna be my favorite sport anyway. So it doesn't even matter. So we're gonna get into this um right now and. Before we get into that, there's another thing. If you paid attention to my props yesterday, three and O, oh, three and O oh on the props yesterday um, that I gave you in that video with the Clippers in the Dallas game. The first prop, I said Dallas first quarter. What happened? Dallas 28 to 26 in that first quarter. They won the first quarter. The next prop was uh, Paul George over eight rebounds. What did Paul George do? In a, in a must-win situation where they go small. Um, let me move it up. Paul George had 11 rebounds. No, he had 13 rebounds. He had 11 defense rebounds. So he really boosted up right there. And then the third prop was Kawhi Leonard over 30 points. Easy, easily, easily, easily got over 30 points. 45 points. He put the team on his back in a must-win situation. Um, he came through. So you can really take advantage of that on FanDuel and do same game parlays. You could have had all that. You could have first quarter Dallas Mavericks, um, Kawhi over 30 points, Paul George over, you know, 10 rebounds. And you could have thrown in Clippers money line. You really could have four things and just stacked it all up and had like plus 1000. So you take advantage of this stuff. Obviously, you want to bet it. You don't always want to parlay things just in case, but. If you're just spending five bucks, throw the parlay in there. Uh, see what happens. You never know. Then you could probably send a screenshot to Bleacher Report Betting, and you could be Instagram famous right there. So, Vince that Carter was is an expert at changing plans. That was yesterday's. Let me close that out because I know that's going to keep popping up. It's going to be very annoying. Um, let's go into today's slate. I got three more props for you today. Hopefully, we can do the same thing again. Now, the key for this game at 7:30 today between the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks is I want all the stars. I want all the stars. So it was something similar to yesterday when you needed, you wanted Doncic, you wanted, um, you wanted Kawhi, you wanted Paul George. Those are expensive players. The key to that lineup was putting Boban Marjanovic in the captain spot because he was so cheap and he was a starter. So, and he actually, he did, he did very well. So, if you had him at the captain spot, it allowed you to afford all the stars. So in this jam-packed game right now, because you got Kyrie, you got Harden, you got KD, you got Giannis, you got Drew Holiday and, and Middleton, I want to focus on four out of the six guys. If you can get a fifth guy, then fine. But the four that are going to be my favorite is going to be James Harden, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, and Drew Holiday. Um, Harden, obviously, because this guy, he's going to be running the offense. Um, he has the highest upside for a triple-double, as he did in the last game. Um, if you're doing props, I like his play, um, his points, assists, and rebounds prop. Uh, if it's like at that, maybe, maybe 40 range, if it's like that 40 range, yeah, definitely I take the over. But James Harden at 12, it doesn't matter what price it is. You're going to freaking play him, all right? You obviously you want to put him in the captain spot. But there's so many stars. I, I need them all. I want most of them because this is where most of the offense is going to come from. You just have to hit on the cheap, the right cheap guy. I think that's going to be the strategy for tomorrow, for today. I mean, you can put Harden in the captain and Giannis in the captain. But that cheap guy that you're going to need to come in, you're going to need them anyway. So why not get the bonus for them? Uh, so that's, I think that's going to be the strategy I'm going, go, I'm going to go with, hopefully this comes through and then you can check. So you'll go into your contest at the end of the day, you'll see what was first place. You'll see what the idea was to help you, you know, 
get all the way to the top. Um, the, the advice I gave yesterday was good. It was good to cash. Um, and I did give you the idea. I was like, oh, it might be too cute if you put Boban at the captain spot. But that was the freaking, that was the idea. And I, I was like, he is good enough to do it because he knows he's a point per monster, uh, point per minute monster. So we're going to focus in on those four guys. Um, I already spoke about Harden. Um, Giannis, this is obviously the focus to stop for the Nets because he was going absolutely bonkers against the Brooklyn Nets. But those three games were not against the total trio of the Nets. So in those three games, he had 66 um, DraftKings points. He took a little more threes. He was being very aggressive. Um, Giannis had a very good game. I don't think we're going to stop him. We might be able to like, slow him down just a little bit. But I want to have him. Kevin Durant is going to be um, the second most important guy on that on the Brooklyn Nets team, scoring the ball. It's just pretty much scoring the ball. This is easy money sniper right here. He's going to take a ton of threes. He's going to get nice, high-quality shots. As you can see, 42 points, 39 points, uh, 25, 26, and then 32. So I like Kevin Durant right there. I'm going to trust him, um, after, especially after having a year off. He's going to really want to eat. And then Drew Holiday, he can kind of take advantage of Kyrie Irving defense. Um, and this is the next best score for their team. Um, score and he's going to provide assists and rebounds. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Drew Holiday. He's going to be very busy for that for the series going up against the Brooklyn Nets. So that's going to be my four favorite guy. Now the cheap guy, so you can afford everyone else. So Brent Forbes um, has become more important for the Milwaukee Bucks since Dante DiVincenzo went down, and this is their six man. So I don't know if they're going to do the same thing like they did in the last game against. Um, was it not, not Boston? What team were they facing? Miami. So he came off the bench. He was a six man. They started Pat Connaughton. So you can either go between Bryn Forbes and Pat Connaughton in that captain spot so you can afford everyone else. Right now, I have these, this core four, and I can't really afford Bryn Forbes at the captain spot. So you're going to have to look at cheaper prices right here. So Bruce Brown is a nice guy to have. He comes off the bench. We play him. It's between him and like Blake Griffin splitting minutes right there because we usually go small. Uh, but Bruce Brown is a high energy guy. He has upside to really break out. As you can see, the last two games, 26 DK, 27 DK. If you have that in the captain spot, that's what times one and a half. That's going to be big. It's going to be very big. He's very scrappy. He, he um, He's uh, gets in that. He's like a Marcus Smart type player. All right. But he doesn't shoot threes. Um, so high energy gets rebounds, gets assists, gets steals. Um, I like, I like what I see out of him. That can be a guy you can go towards in that captain spot. Blake Griffin, his minutes fluctuate. He hasn't been consistent. Plus he's sharing all that playing time with the starters. So he doesn't get to shine that much. I would lean away from that. Similar to Pat Connaughton. I like his role off the bench. This is why I like Bryn Forbes more. So if Pat Connaughton is starting, I might steer away from him. Because it, he, it's just too many mouths to feed. He's gonna, he would have to scrap up so many rebounds and points somewhere. He would have to have one hot game. He would, it really would have to be one hot game for that content. That's why I, I lean toward Brent Forbes, but he is too expensive. So you can go either Bruce Brown, Connington. Um, I like Nicholas Claxton coming off the bench. Uh, I just need more minutes out of him. Maybe with um, Brooke Lopez, he might get a little bit more minutes to help bang down low, but he's a cheap guy that gets um, high energy minutes. I like him. Uh, PJ Tucker is their next guy off the bench that's going to get a lot of minutes. He could be a sneaky guy. He could. Not saying production-wise, but minutes-wise, he's going to be required to defend either hard. He can try to defend Harden um, or KD. His best opportunity would be putting the Bucks putting KD on him. It'd be probably Tucker on KD. All right, that's the best because it's not happening with Kyrie. So it's either Harden or KD, a big body to throw on him so he can get some minutes. Maybe he chip in with some rebounds and uh, three-pointers in that corner. That's his favorite spot. So if you want to get a cheap guy, I would look towards him. Um, Landry Shamet would be the last type guy, would it? He has been getting minutes as of late. We'll see. That's another that's another cheap guy to throw at. So to afford this very expensive util, 
my idea, I'm going to go this over again. My idea would be to go with all the expensive players in the util and find the right cheap guy. That's my idea for today. You can do whatever you want. You can put Harden up there. And my favorite captain would be either Harden, Giannis, or KD, those three. Okay? If you want to not do my idea with the cheap guy and afford everyone else. Um, but fit those four guys in the middle, in the util. And I think the guys you need to focus on are going to be Landry Shamet. P.J. Tucker is a guy off the bench. Nicholas Claxton. Um... I would avoid Conn. Um, you can go Connaughton, and then the next best guy would be Bruce Brown. Okay, and I think you can get somewhere close with that. Try to fit it in um, because you're gonna want. There's no way. I'm already fading Kyrie and Middleton and kind of feeling bad, but you is you can't afford all of them. So you're gonna have to afford the main four. The main four. And I think Holiday and Giannis are the most two important on Milwaukee uh, since Holiday is running that offense. And I think the most two on the Brooklyn Nets is going to be Harden and, Kate and Kevin Durant. All right. So let's go over to the player props. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before we get there, let's see the same value over here um, because they are very you get a little more leeway over here. So if I want to fit in, say I want to Harden, Giannis, KD. And Drew Holiday, you're leaving me with one spot left with 2500 and that that's impossible. You can't do that. All right? They set that up purposely. So you're going to have to choose a cheaper guy in that MVP spot. So let's say I chose one of the, say, Pat Connaughton. We put Pat Connaughton or, or P.J. Tucker at the top. So we put Pat Connaughton in. I have 11 k left. This sounds, this looks more reasonable. You can actually afford your your stars and then you're going to have to choose a mid-tier guy. Okay, you're going to have to choose your three favorite stars and then look for a mid-tier guy. So Joe Harris can have a hot game. Brooke Lopez could probably take advantage of it, of his mismatch depending what kind of starting lineup um, that they come out with. He could get a lot of rebounds in this game. Um, so he's a guy to look at. And then you can throw in Bruce Brown as well. So it's doable on FanDuel because they give you enough salary. You're going to have to go with a cheaper, cheaper below or cheaper up top. Okay. You're going to choose one of those two. All right. So the props that I have, we went three and oh, uh, yesterday. Let's see if we could do it again. My first prop is going to be the Brooklyn Nets first quarter money line. The last two games of the, you know, the series between the Nets and the Bucks, uh, we, Lost both of those games. We didn't have our total trio. I think we're clicking on all cylinders. We're going to come firing out game one in Brooklyn. I think that's going to be a very good bet right there, Brooklyn Nets. And you're getting a cheaper money line bet. So money line for first quarter is minus 140. Money line for the total game is minus 180. I think the Nets win game one anyway. Um, so that's the first one, first quarter Nets. The second one is going to be Brooklyn Nets money line, uh, I think, over the entirety of the game. Uh, we have more um, talent on, on the floor. Clearly, we have the best big. We have an insane big three. I think this is going to be our year anyway, uh, especially in game one. And the the fact that we lost the previous two games against Milwaukee, we're going to try to make a statement in the regular season in the playoffs now. And we're going to come out firing, firing on all cylinders. They're going to need to figure out how they're going to um, need to stop us. OK. And then last is going to be Kevin Durant to score over 30 points plus. All right. He's going to, he's been our top scorer most, most of the games. If we're just looking right there, Kevin Durant, 30 points plus. He had 24 in that final game, but he had uh, less minutes and he took less shots. The game is pretty much over. So an important game, 40 minutes, 42 points for Kevin Durant. Um, the game before that, 39 points. Um, and then he had a 26 point performance and in the game before that he had 32. So three out of the five times he has scored over 30 points. He can definitely do it. This is easy money sniper. He only, he averages 27.7 anyway. So you're just asking him to score just one more three, just one more three. And he definitely can do that. This is Kevin Durant we're talking about. Um, and that's going to be the props for tomorrow. Let me know how you feel below about the core. Let me know how you feel about the props. 
down below. We're trying to help you guys win some more money. So I'm trying to diversify a little bit. I'm giving you picks. I'm giving you props and I'm trying to get you some money. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Remember, we're, our next goal is 400. Let's keep pushing it. Um, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessengeSD. And if you guys have screenshots, send it to me. Send it to me on Instagram at MessengeSD. I'll post it, put it up there, um, and show that we're winning over here. This is the winning side. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace out.